welcome to Dr. Deborah Shelley's Human Anatomy Tutorial. I'm your host Rachel and in this video we're going to be going over the muscles in the head. So first we have epicranius occipitus which is in the back right here on your occipital bone. When this contracts it is going to tense and retract your scalp. Then you have epicranius frontalis which is on your frontal bone right here. This is going to raise your eyebrows and wrinkle your forehead. Then you have the obicularis oculi, which is a circular muscle, which is also a sphincter. And when this contracts, you're going to close your eyes. Then you have obicularis oris, which when it contracts, it's going to compress your lips, which allows for your kissing motion. Then you have right here, this is your zygomaticus. It attaches to your zygomatic bone and then the corner of your mouth. So when it contracts, it's going to retract and elevate the corner of your mouth. So like that. I know it looks kind of creepy, but if you do it naturally, it's a smile. Then you have underneath that deep to it, you have the buccinator or bucinator. Both are correct. When this contracts, it's going to compress your cheeks and allow you to whistle. This muscle right here is the masseter. It is the major muscle in your chewing and it elevates your mandible. Then you have down here, your digastric. This, when it contracts, it goes like this, and it's gonna depress your mandible. You can't see it on this model, but there is a huge muscle that covers this entire area. It's the first muscle right here. I can actually pop it out. That's it, it's called the platysma, and it tenses the skin of your neck or depresses your mandible. Then you have this long muscle here, which is a sternocleidomastoid. It attaches to the mastoid process, the clavicle down here, and the sternum. When both contract on both sides, you're going to flex your neck. If only one of them contract, you're going to turn your head up into the opposite direction. Then you have your temporalis, which is right here on your temporal bone. It's gonna elevate your mandible. Hopefully now you'll have a better understanding of the muscles in the head. 